Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in the campaign in which we are playing Hoi 4 of course using the United UMC mob but we gotta talk about Halmal Shock deemed unreliable. Halmal Shock, the president of the Reichsbank, recently got into disputes with Mr. Adolf and especially with Mr. Herman. Therefore, because of the growing conflict between him and the parties Adler, uh, Alter Kempfer, Schock has been deemed unreliable and is pressed to step down from his positions. It was in August of 1934 when a certain dude, our big daddy leader, appointed Schock as Germany's Reich's Minister of Economics. Schock supported public works programs, most notably the construction of the Autobahn into an attempt to alleviate unemployment, policies which had been instituted in Germany by von Schleicher's government in the late 32. And it in turn influenced Roosevelt's policies. He also introduced the new plan, Germany's attempt to achieve economic autarky in September 34. Germany had accrued a massive foreign currency deficit during the Great Depression, which continued into the early years of uh, rule. Schock negotiated several trade agreements with countries in South America and Southeastern Europe, under which Germany would continue to receive raw materials but would pay in Reichsmarks. This ensured that the deficit would not get any worse, while allowing the German government to deal with the gap, which had already developed. Schock also found an innovative solution to the problem of the government deficit by using MEFO bills. During the economic crisis of 35 to 36, Schock, together with the press commission of Dr. Karl Friedrich Goderler, helped lead the free market faction in the German government. They urged our dude to reduce military spending, turn away from autarkic and protectionist policies, and reduce state control in the economy. Schock and Gordler were already then opposed by a faction entering, centering on Mr. Gordon. The situation got even worse in November of 1937, when he resigned as Reich Minister of Economics and General Plenipotentiary at both his and uh, Goring's request. He grew increasingly dissatisfied with Goring's near total ignorance of economics and was also concerned that Germany was coming close to bankruptcy. Our big daddy, though, knew that Schock's departure would raise eyebrows outside Germany and insisted that he remain in the cabinet as minister without portfolio. Now, Schock is facing allegations from Goring that he's a traitor and cooperating with enemies and should be dealt with, or at least resign as director of the Reichsbank. Goring is right, Schock must step down. We'll probably do that one, unfortunately. He's already proven he's worth he stays. Well, we gotta go with that one. Well, and of course, we're doing Geheimatschaft's Polizei, of course. And we're just pretty much at this point getting ready to, to invade Poland. Because nothing says fun like invading Poland. We're going to embargo the Rising Sun. Huh. Second Vienna Award. Check. Final Germanization. We'll get there eventually as well. Uh, First Ljubljana Award. It's not bad. Um, Let's see. Expand technology sharing. Well, we did pursue the Stahl Pact. This one wouldn't be too bad, honestly, to do. Expand technology sharing. So, right now, what are we looking at here? Ah, uh, Brazil, Brazil, why? There we go. Keep working on all the stuff. Um, we could probably use... Well, we could use, actually use more cities and stuff like that. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Well, at least we got military police one. That'd be nice. I love the Gestapo. Economical cooperation, that's not too bad, too. It's not going to help us out that much. But other than that, ooh, incorporate Gestapo into divisions. Lose some war sport. That's not bad. Military biscuit more urban attack and movement. Oh, more reinforce rate. Focus on the major powers of Europe. We can use some more political power as well. We can support these guys here too. Secret Esta Ami Rearmament. Oh, that's not bad. We shall take our revenge together. That's not bad. The German Turkish Treaty of Friendship and Secure the Straits. Prepare the Ostfront. Yeah, I'll definitely have to go there eventually as well. Yeah, do both of these. Oh, this is from the Spanish campaign. Oh, it wouldn't be too bad, actually. Alliance for Morocco, Holdings in Spain, Unter Neiman Felix, Welthauptstadt Germania. Oh, that sounds so cool. Oh, we have to get Albert Speer. Oh, my goodness, we have to, have to, have to, have to, have to. Holy crap. Um, uh, open up state affairs, empower the certain group here. Oh, we need Himmler as well. Um, Fiat Principle, how about this one? The Fiat Principle, Leader Principle, prescribes the fundamental basis of political authority in the government of the Reich. This principle can be most succinctly understood to mean that the Fuhrer's word is above all written law, and the governmental policies, decisions, and offsets ought to work towards the realization of this end. MFO bills are costing us how much? Minus 0. 0.65, that's quite a bit. Especially for only having one at a time now. At this point, you know, I don't think this is very historical, but I think it's time to cancel these. It's just costing us so much. I mean, we still need some political power too, so... Cancel. Oh boy! As much as I love building all that stuff really fast, it does help all the refiners, which means everything else is going to slow down here. It, it just... it just got so costly. We're losing political power right now too, which is not very good. Okay, get ready to invade Poland too. Hopefully we do okay, because actually right now... Um, uh, we have Romania and Hungary, of course, and Slovakia in the Axis. But Belgium joined the Allies. Wasn't expecting that, to be honest with you. Really wasn't expecting that. But some comments include, just a tip, but I would recommend checking out the propaganda part of the poker street and give good bonuses the last I checked. Uh, political shifting, of course. Um, 
Renew pills? Oh, wait, did I just renew them? Oh, crap. Oh. They're due. We'll fail if more than five than zero. Oh. Whatever. I wasn't reading that, apparently. Yeah, so there was one. Oh, his attitude was wary. Someone said, be careful to keep balancing this stuff here, so. Yeah, it'll be good to balance. Uh, Himmler suggests increase the funds for war preparations. If you want to do this, please go ahead. Good idea. Um, I don't want to lower our relationship with Speer anymore, so we'll go with that one for now. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, we do have the guy who's hurting us quite a bit. Weekly change is minus 0.1, which sucks. It will accept some research cooperation. Of us, give us a leave before our enemies. Nice. Awesome, actually. Get for zip. And what do we have over here? More army stuff. Great. Even more breakthrough for the army. Oh, that's awesome. Hunter groups this is different. Rapid domination. Soft attack. Well, I do. Oh, that's not bad. Oh God, we go with hunter groups right now too. Opposition suppression. Yes. More daily political power. Radio propaganda. Weekly war sport. Yeah, we can use that perfectly. After the few friends up, expand the living realm. We could probably do that one too. Let's describe Hitler's book, Mein Kampf, published in June of 1925. The German race needs a space to live, the Lebensraum. The regions east of Germany are perfect for the people, but before we can fully use these regions, they have to become Germanized. Which only makes sense. Only makes sense. Building up more civvies. Uh, don't really need to be building up any more civvies, but whatever. Uh, we will grab, um... So have you here, huh? Uh, well, the Ribbentrop wouldn't be bad, honestly. But we're going to grab which one? Yeah, yeah. Well, having Borman here sucks, too, now. Mm -hmm. That really sucks, actually. Good. Could become a spy master, but... we got neutral, faithful, supportive, distrustful. That's not good. Um, government to lobby, more weekly stability would be pretty good to get. Renew the bills, so... It's fine. I mean, even if we don't have them, I just, we don't have very much of anything. Why well, not just keep our political power where we're at right now, so. Uh, good, hard, nothing, not too much there. I don't think there's any wars going on either right now, too, so there's really not much going on. So, it is what it is. Radar, level one, it's, level one's okay, it's not great. Do that as well for now, too. 39, get some more extraction. Get use a bit more oil. We're actually losing for the power now, god dang it. Neutral, distrustful. Oh boy. Eight, oh, I thought we were halfway, more than halfway done. And we are, but 804 days. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Political shifting. Goring really loves us. Oh boy. Hey, 92 is not bad. It's not bad. It's bad. Living drum. You know the Jamesh. Uh, oh, well, look at it. Empower the future stuffle. Um, don't want to decrease any more relations for now. Let's get straight. We should take our revenge together. Formal as a pact. Economical cooperation. Uh, that's not bad. 25. High sea fleet. Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah. Put SD refineries, yeah. The vast weapons of Romania must not be left unused. We will invest in the refineries here to expand further, thus improve the Romanian economy, ensure their loyalty to us, and provide us with a steady flow of oil, should we ever need to use it. Well, it doesn't really help us out immediately, not us. Um, synthetic rubber. Ah, oh, it's this one. Large scale motorization and aviation requires large amounts of rubber, which we do own no sources. Must improve the ways we create it synthetically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we just get them. Nice. I love that. It's costing us a lot here. Auto, yes. In the meantime, you go ahead, go here. I want spare. Yeah. At this point, I want spare. Oh, but Reinhard Heydrich. Oh, God. I might get rid of Borman. Actually, I'll probably get rid of Borman eventually. But we can't really do too much right there about that. Ugh. Terrible, I know. After this one, let's do it Westfall. 
The West Wall runs parallel to France's vaunted Maginot Line, occupying much of the same ground as the Siegfried Line did in the previous Valkyrie. Fortifying its defenses will allow us to hold the border with fewer men, freeing up divisions to participate in any potential Eastern campaigns. Thank you. I wish Shapiro recognizes as one of the most influential party members. An architect by training, Shapiro joined the NSDAP in 1931. The organizers of the 1933 Nuremberg rally asked Shapiro to submit designs to the rally, bringing him into the contact with Hitler for the first time. Neither the organizers nor Rudolf Hess were willing to decide whether to approve the plans and have sent Speer to Hitler's Munich apartment to seek his approval. This work won Speer's first national post as the NSDAP's commissioner for the artistic and technical presentation of the party rallies and demonstrations. Oh, shortly after Hitler came into power, <clears throat> he began to make plans to rebuild the Chancellor. At the end of 1933, he contracted Paul Thruss to renovate the entire building. This Hitler appointed Speer, who was therefore Goebbels had impressed him to manage the building site for Thruss. As Chancellor, Hitler had a residence in the building and came by every day to be briefed by Speer and the building, supervisor on the progress of the renovations. After one of these briefings, Hitler invited Speer to lunch and to the architect's great excitement. Speer quickly became part of Hitler's inner circle. He was expected to call on him in the morning for a walk or a chat to provide a consultation on architectural matters and to discuss Hitler's ideas. Most days, he was invited to dinner. On January 30th, 1937, uh, Hitler appointed Speer as General Building Inspector for the Reich uh, Capital and quickly began to gain more influence. Now he counts among the most influential members of the party, exactly engaging the party's politics and even taking it, taking it as a candidate for the next Führer. Hopefully, the average will bring more stability and reason ability into the politics. Oh, cool. Oh, good. Now, because it shows unusual leadership skills, if you want to that, please go ahead. UGF, yeah, we could use more UGF. Yeah, that'd be better. Improve army situation. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Our nation share many common interests, as we as we should. And now they're gone. Sure guys. Sure. Why not? So now we've slowed way down in terms of building stuff. Oh crap. But it's already June, I mean, what do you expect? Hey, 0.55, that's not bad. Okay, friends join the Allies. It's fine, whatever. Formalize the pact? Oh, there's nothing there. Okay. Through field radios, nice. Uh, let's over ahead of time. I love me some radar. I love me a lot of radar, actually. Shit. Whoa! Whoa, okay. Relax there. Okay, that was not expecting that. Well then. Uh, Owen Rommel's Deutsches Afrika Corps? Oh. Okay. A Salvador Shrek's Colony Middle Africa. Well then. Um, focus on the major parts of Europe will probably do that one next. You know, just in case. Let's go and save. Oh, I guess we do have access. Do we have access? No, we don't have access to these guys anyway. Okay, interesting. Um... I thought they had to be guaranteed. Okay, then. They still have Trotskyite plot? Well, they're doing okay. Um. All right. Well, okay, that was something I wasn't really expecting for the Soviets to do already, but okay. Let's see. <clears throat> they seem to be doing okay ish. Alright, well, I'm surprised they're not aboard the Allies. Surprised these guys aren't actually like guaranteed by the Allies either. So okay. Um, after this one, I said, "Oh boom, we can wait for that one too." I guess we'll do finally Sylvania high quality businesses. Why not? Panzerwecke. Ooh, that would actually be better to do. Italian Panzerwecke construction. 
Yeah, it's not bad. We could lose a lot more political power, but we'd be cheaper to get him. Hmm. And the Poles are holding out to a degree, so... Do we have another research slot? July? Give us another month we'll go to war with them as well, but... Alright. Even more excavation is good. What is going on? Yep, there goes a political power too. You know, government lobby, we lose even more political power, we can kind of wait for that probably. Alright, some comments as well. Uh, there's apparently a crypto comment that got a bunch of comments from the last video, so Honduran Fire Competition, if you remember that, please go ahead. Sure, that's fine, whatever. No one cares about that stuff. Planes we have on here. Oh, level three forts. It's not bad. Well, you know what? I think we've waited long enough. I don't think we'll have any issues invading them, but you know, you never know. Uh, a couple other comments before we actually invade, though, such as best channel to see German paths. So, someone else says, "Fun fact: Germany did help the Ethiopians against Italians." Someone says, "As an active member of the UMC community, I would want to inform you that the mod is currently bugged in version uh, 0.9." Um, the version 1.0 is supposed to come out at the end of this month. It would be much appreciated if you could wait and play the updated version, since the update would fix most of the game-breaking bugs and add more things like the Germans of War. Uh, and also, he also says, uh, you can also do both the Stahl attack with Italy and go against Italy if you don't do the focus, expand the technology sharing program. Well, that just means i got to play this mod again then, right? You play it several times? Well, sure, why not? It's fun playing Germany. Someone says, darn, two hours. Someone says, no, first Vienna awards, and someone else says, invade Italy. Someone says, I was about to play this mod, thanks for covering it. Someone else says, uh, this is a great mod. I've played it before entirely, and I should warn you of keeping the political components in check, as it can really screw you in the late war. I almost had a civil war when the underlying parties got too angry with me. Other than that, good luck. Cool. And we'll see what happens. Well, Poland, you had it for too good for too long. Yeah, almost a little fun there, huh? Blitz, back down below. I'll go with Blitz, why not? Give war again for the glory of the German nation. All right. Convo oh, convoys. Motorized and tanks are just speeding on through here, which is very nice. Wow. He's on. Oh. Hungry. Bro. Base pilot promoted is very nice. Anything else here? Tanks more south to that card attack. Nice. We got Warsaw. Very nice. Fall of Warsaw. Oh, now the cipher done. Oh, well. I'm gonna guess we should have used it, so. Might as well. Um. Might as well do that, right? Uh. There you go. Are we missing anything? Besides planes, probably? No? Okay, on planes? Uh, what do we have at the bottom here? Naval bombers, yeah, I'll get these more naval bombers. Get these more rubber as well. What do I have here? Improved medium tank chassis. Chases? Chassis? Uh, rivet armor. A bunch of armor and this stuff. Uh, let's go small armaments. Or heavy armaments. It really slows down. Basic heavy cannon. Yeah, small armaments. Improved small cannon. Heavy machine gun. Automatic. You go improve small cannon for now. It's fine, whatever. Uh. Radio, improved radio, secondary turrets, heavy turrets. Wait, small cannons hurt our armor's reliability more.
We don't have to. We don't have to fill this up. We don't technically have to. So, fence breakthrough, more armor. Sure, why not? There you go. It's kind of high production cost. But that's okay. All right. What do we have else around here? Well, I forget what's it supposed to look like. So we even got like up to here, I think. Forget. I forget exactly how it turns out. Increase equipment. Increase equipment. Storage. KW is right. Increase the production even might cause displeasure. Well, I don't want to hurt Spare's relationship with us. Comes is working exactly as it should. Spare go down by four, but. Uh, that hurts us. What, Hungry, what are you up to, man? Oh, you want something? Oh, no one gives a crap about something in Slovakia. Yeah. I'll just tell you all to do this. There you go. There you go. Something like that as well. Well, we already went to war once. Not bad. Why are the allies not at war with us? Span Rex Vecca to Ostdeutsch territory. Falgelb? The Manstein plan of Fall Gelb gave you all the invasion plan through the Low Countries to strike France. The plan to put a heavy emphasis to as an attack by Army Group A through the Ardennes. On to name and Han. Now that Germany has found a satisfactory solution to the question of her eastern border for now, it's time to turn our attention west. The loss of Alsace Lorraine is just a stand on the honor of the German people. And only through a just enriched war can we avenge us. Okay. Why not? Nice. Anything else here? Not too much, no. No, nope, fall geld. We move in as fast as we possibly can. And I'm probably gonna try to take up Britain as well. Neutral, faithful, supportive, unconvinced. Is there ever a point in doing that? Because they never seem to want to give up to us. Germans agree a threat. Oh, thanks, guys. Ah, but, uh, yeah, the AI. I mean, it just it doesn't make any sense. There's at least fifteen trade. More fuel, just in case. Yeah, we can cut this way down too because we're starting to run out of man. Well, we're not really running out of manpower, but we'll need a lot of manpower for where we're headed. Well, Gelb, German pressure towards Benelux. It's October 10th, 1939. Uh, incorporate Gestapo into division so we can be an award. Eh. Support my taxes. What's that one next? Yeah. Well. Join the Allies. Let's see what happens here. Um, planes. What's your name, Silova? There's that one. Caught in France as well. That's good, you're in wounded, so be it, so be it. Keep going, keep going, there go the Dutch. It's good. Going immediately. If we move fast enough, they won't be able to do jack squad against us. Early subs, early subs. They lost subs. Uh, 
Ooh. Let's throw whatever we can to theirs. Ooh. Oh, got Kushner. No, they're trying to push into Italy. Makes sense. Ooh. Alright, alright. Man, they really want to destroy our fleet, don't they? Alright, interesting. We lost a couple of destroyers in exchange for a lot more enemy destroyers. Alright, well, it is what it is, I guess. You know. You upgrades? No. Look to shoots? No. Alright. Oh, there's more stuff down here, too. New air doctrine. That's kind of cool. Just gotta be careful about our uh, ships here. That's all I gotta say. If you can sink their destroyers, that'd be great. Oh. I forgot to tell the arm to go to. My bad. Alright, get out of here. Wait, yeah, look at this Belgium. We're losing our fleet, though, which is not very good. Come on, sink the stupid carrier. Come on. Oh, come on. We lost way too much in that battle. Yeah, our ships kind of suck. A lot. Which means we need to ramp up how many naval bombers we're making. And we will ramp them up quite a bit more. Uh, yeah. German Navy never that good. At least for now. Let's see what else we have here. Agility, air superiority mission, kamikazes. Eh, we're not going to suicide our guys. Ship recovery rate. Oh, we got another one too, huh? Alright, we'll make a massive fleet by the time we're done here. Dude, I told you to go home. Like, what are you doing? Better radar is nice. Better radar after that, too. As we are, I has have not been... Can I speak? I cannot speak about myself at all. Uh, we have been pushing into France pretty darn well without even me paying attention, so. Which is pretty nice. They destroy our navy, and uh, we destroy France. How fair of a trade is that? Eh, we'll see. Hungry demand southern Slovakia. Hope it works all peacefully. Paris is ours. Well, Paris, another victory for the Vatican. Slovakia returns to southern Slovakia? Well, whatever. At this point, you know what? Just stop doing what you're doing. Let the planes do it. It's alright. Green to agree success for sport. Beginning prosperous relationship. Nice. For now. Trade, economic revitalization. Take the reins of Greek experience out. No. Challenge Royal Navy. Doesn't help us that now. Save us control of French territory. French, Belgian, Dutch, uh, foreign SS divisions. What's the new Tannenbaum? Yeah. Well, let's get that one started going. I'm surprised you guys haven't given up yet, since we're actually very close to capitulating them. At least we should be, in theory. I guess I think we can go to war these guys, too. I think I was going to be offended if we really took them out. France wishes to negotiate the armistice. Following a well-prepared and executed attack on, French, on France, the success of penetration in the front lines was the weakest points. The best, most modernized French armies have been sent forth and lost in the resulting encirclement. Thus, the French have lost their best heavy weaponry and the best armored formations. Soon after, French forces were in general and were cheating from our Wehrmacht units and who were pushing deeper and deeper into French territory. The French government was forced to relocate south to avoid capture and declare Paris to be an open city the same day. We're way past Paris now. During that time, Operation Kalina Bear began, aiming to surround and capture the rest of the well-trained and well-equipped units still stationed on the Maginot Line. Even though the battle was difficult and so pr progress was made against a strong French resistance, each force was overcome one by one. Most units surrendered soon after the uh, 19th Corps reached the Swiss border. The Maginot defenses were cut off from the rest of France, and our soldiers came to have taken up to half a million prisoners. So main forces continued the fight, uh, despite some appeals to surrender. Last, capitulated after 13 days of heavy fighting and only after a request from Georges and not on, only then under protest. Of the 58 main fortifications on the Maginot Line, 10 were captured by the Wehrmacht in battle. 
The scourge by his cabinet's hostile reaction to the British proposal for a Franco-British Union to avoid defeat and believing that his ministers no longer supported him. The Prime Minister of France resigned. He was succeeded by Pétain, who delivered a radio address to the French people announcing his intention to ask for the armistice of Germany. Negotiations were ready to commence, and we were only waiting for the Führer to approve. And the Führer will have a number of good reasons for agreeing to an armistice. As armistice would ensure that France shall not continue to fight from the French North Africa, and the French Navy is taken out of the war. In addition, leaving a French government in place will relieve Germany of the considerable burden of administering French territory, particularly in the Rhine. As, as we have other goals to achieve, finally, we still lack a navy sufficient to occupy France's overseas territory as the only practical resource. The denial of the British use of them was to maintain a formality independent and neutral French rump state. Armistice to keep France under influence and ease the domination of Europe, which will accept only unconditional surrender of France and its forces. Maybe next time, but. Wow, they accept. Holy crap. We'll go with this one. We were unable to enact variously large demands over France and decide the fate of their independence. Territory, colonies, and size of occupations. Everything's in prepared. And while our armies are still marched deeper and deeper into French territory, French leaders with uh, Philip Pétain in its head came to meet with a delegation chosen and led by our Führer Adolf Hitler at the Compagnie Forest. The Führer chose the Compagnie Forest. This Compagnie was the site of the 1918 armistice ending the Valkyrie with Germany's surrender. Adolf Hitler shall use his place as a supreme moment of revenge for Germany over France. He said that the signa signing should take place in the same rail carriage, the Compagnie wagon, where Matthias Asbaga, the Count of Alfred von Obendorf, uh, Major General Dittloff von Winterfeld, the Count of Ernst Wenzel, some 20 years back, sent ultimate German surrender. However, in an antagonist the French more than necessary in the last sentence of the preamble, the draft is inserted. However, Germany does not have the intention to use the armistice conditions and armistice negotiations as a form of humiliation against such a valiant opponent. Negotiations have begun. Adolf Hitler sits in the same chairs in which Marshal Ferdinand Falk had sat when he faced the representatives of the defeated German Empire. All chumps are in our hands now. We must, however, be careful as if our demands would be too harsh. The French would almost definitely decide to continue the fight abroad. And with their ally itself, we must remember that the main objective of the armistice is to ensure French non participation in the conflict, not the total submission, and to keep the colonies and navy out of our enemies' hands. Get France out of influence over enemies? Give the possessions, but they must fall under sphere of control. Continue the situation, must handle each of the area's demands territorially. Uh, I don't want to deal with that. I want to do this one. I should have looked at um, the casualty list. My bad. We lost 9,000. I like to call Anima to Africa. We'll get there too. He lost 38,000. My bad. I did not see what France was like beforehand. Oh, French Republic. Look at these guys. Marcus Walker? Who are you? Oh, well, generic book speed. Well, whatever. Yep, whatever. We won! And that's right here. Take you over here. You guys can do this too. I don't trust Soviets. No one should ever trust Soviets. Who's doing this now? Oh, crap. See, that's why I said we don't trust Soviets. Oh, yeah. Keep. Well, what's the point of that when they just join the Allies? Do God continue to fight? They have a small rebel force somewhere in Africa. Nothing to worry about them. Oh, whatever. Image bear. Spared up. Couldn't be us Deutsche Reich? Yeah, might as well. Gross Deutsche Reich. Beautiful. Oh, interference with the Pétain's friends. Following the ultimate victory of the French forces and following second armistice in Compagnie, we've gained significant influence in the Pétain led French state. Even though they still keep a portion of independence, they must submit to our directions. <coughs> That gives us a great opportunity to shape events in France according to our image, and even a possibility to exploit the resources as much as possible. However, they are sure stance towards Pétain's France. More likely, they'll take a hostile approach against us as soon as a suitable opportunity arises. Increase their influence. Increase French and labor force quotas. Interesting. With successful conquest of France, we now have captured a large number of French soldiers. These prisons and wars are now held in the Reich as a guarantee of Pétain's obedience. Those men can be also used for work in these factories and the construction sites as well as mines or anywhere else we need them. I must be careful. The more we push them to work, the less likely they'll ever see us as allies. Large numbers of French workers and factories could also drastically lower our internal stability in the long run, too. And the occupation of French states. Uh, probably war bonds would not be bad either. You know what? Go with war bonds for now. Get rid of the Polish names. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's probably going to be improved. Nice. Go ahead and impeach this guy a little bit more. We'll just put a party together every day. We don't get a ton. We're up to four. Oh, 
Fossil UGF uh, Uprising Counter. If it reaches 100%, they'll take action. Raised by being a low stability, being a war, having high casualties of war, surrender late relations. Lower by good relations, the UGF will be removed. Okay. Well, whatever. I'm not even going to war county, but still. Atlantic Fleet. Um, just more production costs, carriers, capital ships. Yeah, that was going to be better, honestly. Military High Command. Army Field Capacity. We definitely need guy for... Uh, this guy's not bad. I want him for less supply consumption. This is a minus 5%, which is not bad still. This guy would be better, though. 10% is better. More organization. Modell Hitler's Feuer Wehrmann. Huh. It's not bad. Shorna, though, is always pretty good to get to. You guys really focus on stuff like that. Not so bad. Well, aircraft designer, naval bombers. Ooh. Oh, we can't have Mezzer Schmidt for that. For fuck Wolf. That's alright. Well, Cass, we want a lot of Cass, but I don't want her speed, so. Naval bombers. Might as well. Oh, crap. What is this? Hey, we found this like a stupid goddamn carrier. Oh, it's like another carrier. Was it the same one? It might be the same one. Okay, well, we'll see. Not bad. Uh, I guess Luxembourg, that's good. Got promoted, and since we're here. Um. Put these guys in the water as well. This combo is like crazy. Are there any other naval bombers here at all? A lot of casts. Loads of casts. So it's out with the gull, whatever. There, it's fine, whatever. Goron argues over East of Lufafa. We're going to this place, go ahead. UGF, I'm not going to lower UGF. He did his job, but now it's time for the OKW to run the Lufafa. Oh. Where are we at for Goring? He's uh, 51. They're all neutral. Wait, I can proclaim it again? As someone did say, it is a little bugged, so I'll take all the political power. Okay, so that's OP. I can keep doing it. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is definitely bugged. Holy crap, the time scoring. You know what? I'm okay with that for now. I'm okay with that. That's just free stability and stuff like that. Oh, that's nice. It's very nice. Situation of French colony stabilizers. That's nice. That's good. The Fisher. I'll go with you. Truck. Pretty nice. Let me try to nail bay. Well, it's October 1939 now. Two destroyers is good. Ooh. Lots of allied stuff there. Also, how's Africa doing? We can help them out maybe just in case. Probably. I don't trust Italians. Um, go with 100 casts. Do we have any extra naval bombers? Or I guess tactical bombers, I should really say. Interwar bombers. Not many. We're doing this just for range, though. Just in case. Alright, what do we have here? It's fine for now, too. Government Cyber School is not bad. Let's grab some of that. Destroyers. Nice. Good, good, good. Hmm. Save us controlled French territory. Uh, might as well, I guess. Resistance. Oh, yeah. Might as well do that one first. Yeah. Save us controlled French territory. That'd be nice. So we're going to get through uh, Switzerland first. 
We're doing the allies, no one cares though. Political shifting, of course. Baron will be ours. Very nice, very nice. Cut him in half. Zerk will be ours as well soon, hopefully. Oh, we're done, huh? Good, very good. That's what's got. Great. And now what? Denmark. Until enemies try to invade us. Probably. Political shifting. Tames. Not bad, not bad. Keep working on it. Close air spore, cast, 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 fighters. No more fighters, huh? Alright, so if that's the case, I will have probably you guys throw in you as well. Attempt to enable invasion from Dunkirk to Dover. I'm all gonna use one, two, three. So, well, from here to there. Here to there, cut them off. One, two. If you can. As well. There you go. We'll see. But time uses colonial force to deal with De Gaulle. Let's hope the Alta Malchun knows what he's doing. Oh crap. Oh, look at all these subs down to get sunk. Nice. It's pretty good. We could do that, but that'd be cheating. You know, I want more about Speer. Uh, reparations coast number of French POWs control our control and influence of France 95% cause them very low control of the uh, state functions French attitude is kind of low right now though but whatever do we care no not really nice and integrate these guys we need more compliance so he's look at French industry risk cooperation work with the French Vichy government of France why not that sounds like fun. Alright, so we gotta wait for that a little bit more, a little longer, so be it what. Oh, well, that's not good. My bad. How do we get all the way over here? In Q? Ow. My bad for not looking. Happy 1940, everybody. Uh, okay, there you go. Well, I guess it's an easy way to destroy more uh, divisions, I suppose. There you go. More subs go bye bye. And there you go. I really don't want to get him North Africa, please. For any celebrations? That's cool. Great. Except for this unconvinced. How do you raise relations with those guys, man? Naval invasion support. We'll have to work on that even more. So which means we need way, 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 way more planes. 40 for naval bombers, not bad. Gives more though. Some more our fighters, that's fine. More cast perhaps as well. And bombers. Of course, it's a new year, which means we can probably grab even more bombers and whatnot, too. So, ooh. Bismarck. Alright, so after that, exploit the Fitchy French. Well, I'll work on this in a little bit later. Um, what else do we want to do? It's going to move off us. Oxy Flota. We have rejected Rage's plan Z, therefore, complete this rule. How are the following effects? Oh, crap. Rudolf Tactique. 
Not bad. Mm. Perfect Blitzkrieg screen doctrine. Carl Donitz's Odu de Tactique. Carl Donitz's main focus of the naval warfare is the usage of the U-boats as the main workforce of it. Giving a full focus to our U-boats will enable us to destroy the enemy naval transports more efficiently. Followed up with... What else? Share program. I like the share program. Share program sounds like fun. First Ljubljana award would be nice as well. Ooh, Ensig. Oh, that's not bad. We could try that one, I guess. Ensig's ultimate victory was achieved. Our former lands were regained. Our enemies are trouble under military might. Truly a great day for all the Deutsche Volk. Well, everyone, um, here we're at. I mean, we've invaded actually very successfully. We have 20,000 casualties versus, well, it has lost a crap ton. Um, but yeah, we made it to the UK. Uh, we've already taken out London. All we had to do was make sure instead of doing, um, the Evil Invasion Sport, all I had to do is Convoy Escort, and we have green stuff here, so, uh, yeah. I don't know where the Navy is. I never seem to know what, where the Navy's at. They still have 170 ships, so, uh, I'm not going to complain too much, though. Just but literally just blitzing through all of the UK, so yeah, they're done. Actually, who else is a major power? Is that it? Oh, free French. Oh, god dang it. Come on, free French forces. Come on, man. Seriously, well, we have to invade North Africa too, or whatever. That's annoying. Uh, there you go. More coordination. Why not? I love the coordination. Let the tanks do what do their job. Hans Guderian's doing great. And there goes the UK. Beautiful. Well, time to start working on some more ships. Because we lost way too many. Um, actually, you can get some better radar now. I'll actually get some better stuff here, too. Well, never mind. We don't have any... Uh... I gotta do that, too. Uh, Naval XP. We're gonna spend all of it. Dang it. Yeah, overall, not bad. Belfast. This is going to be a little more tricky to invade, though. Always is. Always is. Uh, see what we can do about that. In the meantime, I'll send you three over here and start doing that, too. Um, there you go. Do that, too. And you guys can go to the front lines. That'd be fine. He's by promoted. Very good. So we're gonna wait a while for that, which is fine. Nice way one, which is not good. Oh, hello. French into China. It's fine for now, too. Well, there goes Finland. More of this stuff, too. We can use more fuel and whatnot. You know, like normal. Radar. Eh, that would be pretty beneficial to get some stuff, too. And Sig, of course. Um, what else can we do here? The top shot, the Germania. That sounds like we should do that since we just defeated the UK, so. Zamba Alba, Spain approved by the Führer himself, Velhop Germania will be a noble and modern sample of German greatness. From Gross Halle to Sigisaula will lead a modern road and rail. Still be equipped with state of the art equipment, the most luxurious restaurants, the most beautiful parks, all for, uh, for the glory of the Führer and the German people of the nation. Yeah. Nice. So, so good. Twenty percent, huh? Alright, we can intensify everything here. Oops. Uh, more naval bombers? Yeah, that's fine too. There you go. I'm still doing all three of these areas. See what you can do. Only 24%, huh? How do we only 24%? We were able to get enough here. That's what's eluding me right now. I don't understand. Oh, also, it does help if we do have these guys here, too. Hmm. 
That about a lot, probably. 60% able. Bomber competition? Sure. Yep, it definitely drastically improved it, but we're not there yet. Oh. Oh, they declared war on them. What the heck? Increase influence of Falafa. Well, I guess the UGF. I'm kind of okay with that UGF. Yeah. Stronger than Falafa is that you do a lot better enemies. Yeah, pretty much. Which bears as wary as he should be. Well. I guess we're in defensive war against these guys now. Not good. Well, if anyone wants to join the faction? Sure, why not? Sure, guys. Sure. Can we actually do anything against these guys? They've even taken out Estonia and Lithuania and all them. Fine. We didn't even take out Yugoslavia either. Holy crap. Um, we're fitting. Uh, stuff can probably all wait. Specialized stuff and 240 stuff. Inventory, recon, sure, sniper teams. Oh god, they're doing force defense. Man, not a bad idea for them. How are we doing plane wise? Wow, 55 damage. They have, they have more planes than us, which is not good. I just wanted to invade these guys. That's all I wanted. It's not going to go oh, well for us, is it? Sure. The shifting and whatnot. Sure, guys. Sure. Convoy rating. Convoys. Subs, 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 subs. Aye, aye, aye. Well, well, you two here. Actually, you know what's good. You guys coming back home? Come home. Supplies gonna be really bad. In the meantime, I'm gonna actually have you guys try to invade instead. Liverpool, Belfast. You guys, uh, go ahead and do like garrison stuff around the ports and whatnot. That'll be good to do, probably. Spy promoted. Very nice. Oh, since we're here. Um, Wilhelm List. Static Warfare. It was just focused on air warfare, fighter interception, air development, and training. Shona. Hurts our attrition even more, though, and I don't like that. Offense, defense, organization, planning, commanding. That's not too bad, actually. Von Hauser, you know. Hmm. Chief of the Air Force. Oh, we gotta get Goring, right? There's no consumer goods, though. Gonna cost, yeah, we'll go with them. Gonna hurt everything else here, but whatever. Supply's gonna be really bad here, too. Yeah, since you're close to finishing that up, anyways, keep going. Yeah, you got Vilno, that's good. Well, hold on, so. Um, USSR has quite a few divisions. I've lost quite a million, which means nothing, but you know, whatever.
20 combo is nice. Going to. Where are the divisions? Well, oh, good job. Then we get a refill. Nice. Oh, nice. Forty-four percent is not bad. Any other ships yet? Not yet. Takes a while to make more ships because we're gonna need a way more fuel, though. Way, 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 way more fuel. Can we get any more fuel from America? Maybe Iran? Yeah. Spot more fuel would be great. Ooh. We can't take this tower. This tower. Either one of these two. And it's an encirclement, a pretty good encirclement. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventeen, eighteen, twenty six division structure. here. That's not bad. No. Well, Kiev, Kiev, nice. Keep learning, keep learning, keep learning. Oh crap. Of course this would happen now. I don't like that you can't naval invade without having naval invasion supremacy or naval supremacy. In my opinion, it makes no sense. Blast off capture. Near the most recent enemy retreat. High ranking Soviet generals have been captured by our forces and in our custody. This general Andrei Vlasov has professed anti Bolshevism and our proposed to raise some divisions to capture Russians fight alongside against Stalinism. Yeah, that'd be great. Nah, that ain't bad. Oh, we can link up with the Finns. That'd be amazing if we could do that already. What is this? Air superiority? First, it's fine. Holy crap, we're already broken into Ukraine. Nice. Tank radio's nice, good. Good. I forgot to get it, but I forgot about guns. Oh crap, we're almost out of fuel. Uh, that's not good. We've already linked up with the fins. Holy crap. So you guys instead face this direction. Take them out this way. Oh, they haven't lost North Africa yet. They've lost Ethiopia, but what else is new? <laughs> it's just, just rolling all over the place here. Second Vienna Award? Ah, uh, first Ludiana Award. The hypocritical Western powers self reach uh, self national determination while handing over many minorities to be ruled by Serbs. We're in a position uh, to right that historic wrong and make friends at the same time for those who wish to side with us in the European order. We can be very generous. Press him the press for stuff. Remember that, please go right ahead. Yeah, unfortunately, Himmler. Unsupportive, huh? Trustworthy. Donuts. 
Mm. Beginning of help of help job with Germanic construction. The of Germanic is a projected renewal of the German capital of Berlin. Designed by the first architect of the Third Reich, Albert Speer, improved by the Führer himself, the help of Germanic will be noble and modern sample of German greatness and finalization of Adolf Hitler's vision for the future Gross Deutsches Reich. During the last few years, Albert Speer produced many of the plans for the rebuilt city and the capacities to oversee the project. The creation of a great east-west city axis, which includes broadening Charlottenburg, Chausse, and placing the British vic uh, Berlin uh, Victory Column in the center. Avenue of Splendors, a city year organization along a central five kilometer long boulevard known as the Praktale, or Tali. Triumphal Arc, situated towards the southern end of the avenue, which would be based on the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, but of course much larger in scale. Grosser Platz, at the northern end of the avenue on the side of Königsplatz, which is to be a large open forum with an area of about 350,000 square meters, and is to be surrounded by the grandest buildings of all, with the Führer's Palace on the west side of the site of the former Coral Opera House, with the 1984, or 1894, a Reichstag building on the east side, and the third Reich Chancellery and High Command of the German Army on the south side. And last but not least, the Volkshalle. The people saw an enormous doom, domed building designed by Adolf Hitler himself. It should be the capital's most important impressive building in terms of size and symbolism. Visually, it has been the architectural centerpiece of Germania as the world capital from here. Deutsche Führer shall address the Deutsche Volk either directly up to 200,000 participants or in the media via radio and TV broadcasting. The cornerstone is laid. The work began, and the Führer is declared. In the shortest possible time, Berlin must be redeveloped and acquire the form that it is due to the greatness of her victory as the capital of a powerful new Reich. In the completion of what is now the country's most important architectural task, I see the most significant contribution to our final victory. The Volkswagen uh, shall rejoice and grow strong with everybody completed. Cool. More influence? Sure, why not? Just destroying them. Moscow's ours already. Holy crap. Pretty aggressive assault, I guess, at this point. I guess at this point, we should really focus more on the south, maybe. Modell's been wounded. That sucks. Just because we need that fuel. My god, do we need fuel. I mean, how many divisions do they have? What happened to the division count? Did we just like forcing defense or something? Uh, yeah, the five, red fleet is really super important. Let's see, defense. We got plus five to more mass entrenchment, which is honestly not very much. Uh, huh. Red army. Organization is really bad. Experienced soldiers lost is really bad as well. Soviet Air Force is very bad. Desperate measures, of course. Anti Soviet military thinking banned. Politicized military. Doesn't help us that much. Help them, I mean. There are some of the revolution, too. First Ljubljana Award. Uh, let's wait for Yugoslavia. Second Vienna Award, yes. The Transylvania is a Hungarian majority. Should rightly belong to our friends in Hungary. However, it's hard to say how the Romanian regime and people react to this demand. They'll react how we want them to react. Oh, urban. Whoa! Upgrade, that's cool. Oh crap, I see them. Come on, just destroy this division. We got some new backs to the east. Or west, I mean. Crap, they did a D day. Go, 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 go. Oh, hungry, you definitely got bigger, yeah. God dang, you move fast. What? Why would you give that up now? Stalingrad, we're approaching Stalingrad. Backhand blow for now. Right, so now we saved ourselves over there. 
Second Vienna War, not bad. Prince Eugene Lamb? Why not? Destroying destroyers, which is nice. More destroyers as well. I don't know. I feel like we just need more research slots. At least one more. I mean, we're, it's pretty strong as is, but like I could, I could use another research slot, man. Use more rubber, of course. We have like no civvies. Actually, we got plenty of civvies. Only like five percent more tech, huh? Not very much. Go with breakthrough. Let's go back and blow. Who's just fighting us now? Is it America? Italy. Bro. Guys. Engineers. Uh, tactics and bureau. Some better planes. That'd be good. Better planes are always good to get. Honestly, I get why they should still be alive, but they're done. Holy crap. Just trying to pummel them as hard as we possibly can. Fisher? Yes. Joachim? Kamilkio? Supplies aren't even extremely bad, too, right now. They will be very bad probably soon, but still. Political shifting. Let's go ahead and check German, uh, check final Germanization, and then maybe do some Leben dramas after this too. It's gonna take a while to do that stuff too, but whatever. Ostrakhan is very nice to get. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Finally, the Paul's Sebastopol. Now they got sir. You got sir. All right. Hey, we wish to propose to skill off this SS officer. Unfortunately, no, I'm sorry, mad man, but they're unsupported right now, which is very bad. Machine. Well, you might as well use it if we got it, right? Exactly. Yalta. Yalta, Yalta, Yalta. Bro, just go to Baku. Special usage. And Baku will be ours. Hopefully. Oh, crap. Well, time to send him back. I forgot about these tanks we need to be upgraded. Get a new tank. It's a little stronger. Be a little nicer. Wow, oh, enemy airstrikes and whatnot. They're spreading out quite a bit, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Today's kind of Greek territory. A little better military police. Two battle oh, sounds like part of the fleet. That sucks for you guys. Nice job, guys. 
I don't want to see any Aussie over here anymore just because, well, I'm getting it. It kind of sucks. So you guys gonna hang out near Denmark. How much more? They're almost about to die. Have they already lose a lot of stock? Oh, they already lost a lot of stock. Hmm. How many divisions they've left? A hundred. It's not bad, but still. Oh, well, oh, that sucks. Oh, I just had to go to war with someone else, didn't you? And you're losing. I mean, I guess that's historical and all, but still. You haven't won in North Africa yet. Holy crap, that's a lot of divisions there. Ninety-nine percent of the way they're captured. They're outraged, huh? Well, they capitulated, maybe. All right. Well, whatever. I'll just probably take everything, anyways. Sorry, Japan. Nothing personal. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Yes, prepared to Osfronta. What's her name in Barbarossa? We didn't even get to do that. Operation Barbarossa, code name for the Axis invasion of the Soviet Union. It's a large combat operation in the history of warfare, and its goal is to reach Leningrad, Moscow, and the heart of Ukraine in a matter of months and crush every possible Soviet resistance once for all. Hmm. The whole raw structure comes crashing down. The Hague Pro Conference? Oh. That's kind of nice. Reactive focus. Well, there's stuff we gotta do as well. Stay centralized management. Oh, that's kinda cool. Oh, that's pretty nice too. Well, for the Oxcom Sariats as well as the Jamanisha Jumanisha Volka. But I think I'll end it there, because we've done really well in this episode. And we're looking pretty thick. That's what oh, I always want. Looking pretty thick. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, hey, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and see you tomorrow as we figure out what else we're gonna do in this campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.